you off. figuring that out over there? Yeah, like the shitty thing is the zoom is weird. If you're gonna take the position of Jamie, hey, bro, young I Jamie, just hopped into this. I'm figuring it out. It's this. Right? It's like don't the, figure it out on the podcast. You <laughs> that's why. Know. That's why I'm trying to do it now. It's the like TV. Like, it's just yeah, the TV's, TV's a little bit out of it. yeah, it's a little bit out of whack. There's no safe zone setting. All right, Rob, you're on the podcast. Sure am. You're here. How do you feel? Uh, it's just another day. Just another day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> am I supposed to be super excited? You could be. I mean, I'm not excited. I would not appreciate excited. some, like, stupid enthusiasm, like, over-enthusiasm. <laughs> no, I don't do that for anything. Hey! You, I could ask for, like, a brand new car for Christmas and get it, and I'd be like, gee, thanks. Gee, <laughs> I can't show over enthusiasm. People can't be like mad because he's you're nice, but I just don't know how to get overly excited for things. Okay. That turns into anxiety very quickly. So what's your uh, definition of overly excited? Like just overreacting, like being like. No, no, no. I mean, if, what's what's Rob's definition? What do you mean? Like if you don't, if you get have the typical overreacting, over, yeah. what's your overreacting? I've seen you get fired up a couple times. Well, fired up is different than being like overly excited. I suppose because being fired up, you're angry. Yeah, I've seen you mad a- at angry. Things. I can get all the way up there, but overexcited. It's over. It's just like smiling, like thanks. I really appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> Throws a really in there. Yeah, it's I mean, you know, like <laughs> legitimately, that's how it goes. It sounds normal, I but always, it also sounds like you're being a smart ass at no, the same time. <laughs> I feel so bad, like every Christmas, because I get basically exactly what I ask for every year, and it's like thanks. It's like I don't know how to be like. You're the best. This is the best thing ever. Because it's just not real when it comes from me like that. Right. I'm not going to fake my excitement. That sucks. He tells me things like that all the time. You know, he's <laughs> laying it down. He's like, you have the greatest car on the planet. I don't know if now I've I, ever said that. No, no, you have. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you do have a nice car, though. Thank you. I enjoy it. See? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how I roll, man. Oh, Realism. Man. All right. Well, what... Uh, can you explain what you do for work? Which one? I do two things. Both of them. Full-time job, I just run the office at a hot rod shop that recently moved up to Pease. I uh, just schedule cars, do taxes, insurance, invoices, estimates, mm-hmm. the whole shebang, basically. Anything that has to do with the office, because those guys don't know how to use computers. But their skills with tools far exceed mine. So... And then I work at a homeless shelter part time and just sit at a desk and watch cameras, for the most part. How does that go? Is I that fun? It's easy. Like are they security cameras? Yeah. Hmm. So it's like I basically just have to keep attendance and make sure the residents that are following the rules. Bueller. So you get to watch the residents, like you're making sure. That no, they, I don't oh. get. There's no cameras in their rooms. No, I know. I'm just saying, like overall, like they're not like out in the hallways, like hitting shit with hammers. And no, no, they're all pretty mellow. It's like young adults. Oh, and I gotcha. most of the kids we have in there are really good right now, and so I got gotcha. you. Not a social bunch either, so they're not like running around and doing stuff. It's just how do they end up in there? Like, that's not my job to know, and I probably can't disclose that on a podcast due to confidentiality things. See, so there would have been a topic we could have said that's off topic. Not much about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, say not much about it. Yeah. Um, so I have I, two monitors there. I get to watch whatever I want all day. Oh. Yeah. So it's pretty relaxed yeah it's a breeze not a lot goes on i mean internet goes down sometimes i have to reset a router but do you need a a pic partner in crime it's a one-man job damn (laughs) do you get like a like a like a tool belt with a yeah do you get like the night guard yes the night guard does oh Uh, there is a night yeah there's like a night security that comes in from like 11 to 7 so like if he goes down he needs a backup it's gotta be. He's yeah, not gonna you? go down. No. no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gone by like as soon as oh. eleven hits and he comes in, I leave. I got mm-hmm. you. You're not there all night. But yeah, like ninety percent of the time, there's only one staff there. Huh? They're trusting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have rules, so if you break the rules, you get kicked out. Oh. So uh, it's not like a free reign. Not to be yeah. An idiot. It's, yeah. It's it's not like you can just do whatever you want. I like, got you. There's requirements, and everyone has their own plan they have to work on and stuff like that. So. So you sent me a couple photos of some of the cool shit they work on in this hot rod shop. Oh, yeah. What's uh, your favorite, like, thing that has come through while you're working there? My favorite Do you thing. have, like, a, like a, at least maybe top three or? 
Um, things that you can like right off the top of your head. That '64 Chevelle wagon. Oh yeah, that thing was sweet. Um, then there's like a '53 GMC sidestep pickup. I got you. That one. They were basically the same color, but I liked that color a lot. And then maybe the Maserati, just because I got to whip it around for a yeah, bit. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> ask you about that. <laughs> oh. Yep, the two door. One of those bad chickens. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that's dope. What color was it? Um, it's more like a, a silverish blue, um, kind of like that one up in the middle there. That one. Yeah, but a, like a lighter little lighter. It? Yeah, like a little more shine to it. I got you. Then just yesterday we got a '65 Impala that we did a full rotisserie paint on and stuff that the guy put back together and we're doing some final buffing and stuff on it. That one's pretty sweet. Have they let you into like the shop to like help with stuff every once in a while? Do they... I detail cars sometimes, but like especially with the move, I've been just busy setting stuff up in the, up in the office. Right. Been writing like twenty thousand dollars worth of estimates a day. Damn. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That stuff's pretty fun, but so these are like custom builds, not like it's not like a repair shop. Like if something. Well, got... I mean, like, it depends. We do like everything. We do collision as well, so like we'll take mm. insurance shops and stuff like that. Somebody hits a deer, you yep. bring it in, and gotcha, that's gotcha. why we're like up in that area because that should bring in a lot more collision with all the deer that are up there. Right. Yeah. You said peas, right? Yeah. You ever been to Peas Cafe? Nope. Dude, don't, you don't plan on it. No, you don't. gotta put that on the list. I'm, I'm telling, telling you. you. Hey, I'm s- telling you. Small towns, <laughs> small towns always have this like uh, cafe. Yeah, Princeton Some small had town. K-Bob, and if you went in there, they glared at you. All the old people. Yeah. Daggers. Yeah, it's part of the fun, man. And you hear somebody in the fun. back. You gotta get to know Bob. That's you, all yeah, you hear yeah. somebody in the back. Okay, Bob, and that's how they got the name. Yeah. He was doing some Bob. Okay, Bob. Shit in the back. They're yeah, like, I'll, okay, Bob. I'll get I, it. I like some of those old timey diners, but Peas is not one I want to be in. Yeah. Who Just wants to eat man. in a town named Peas? Hey, their <laughs> breakfast, their waffles. Come up with a better name and for the, your town. And the Maybe country fried talk. steak. Shit. I realize um, country fried steak. Is you ever had a mashup of Taco Bell breakfast? Mm, and we're talking. <laughs> Cheaper, quicker. Cheaper, quicker. <laughs> and it's right down the road from my house. <laughs> we all need to explore. I Expand try my best horizons. not to go past peas or any further into peas than I have to. Yeah, that's a good call. We're right next to Highway Auto Sales, if you know where that is. I, I do. Where that's yeah. Yeah. It's like literally the shop right next Take a step across the, uh, across the fence there and go talk to Ryan Orton and Anthony. They both work there as mechanics. Oh, at Highway? Yeah. Oh. They're just right there. I don't mess around with them. Hang out. Drive some cars. We went to prom across the street from the shop. We did. That's such a strange place. Yeah. I. Why they Is put that, it there? Uh, the ballroom? Yeah. There's that? a ballroom in the middle of something a lights. field. The, something Northern, Northern, Northern Lights. lights. Northern yeah. Northern lights. Yeah. yeah. Why they put that there, I don't know. Well, I mean, you it's went to It's like there. it's the only banquet hall between Princeton and Malacca. Did they need that though? Like I feel like. I mean, I, I'm sure they generate a good amount of revenue. If you guys went to prom there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm sure Malacca probably does something like that. If. Do you and remember then there's paying, like weddings and stuff. Having to pay to go to prom. Yeah. What the. F- it was such a waste of money. Everything Truly. about that was a waste of money and time. <laughs> the first year I had the worst, the worst day of my life. Uh, We're not gonna get into that, but that was not a good time. Was that the? What year was that? I don't remember. That might have been my junior year. The second prom, or senior year, was that the one where I ended up at the other hotel, your place? Yeah. No, that was the first. one. That was the first one. Yeah, that was the worst. Oh boy, with uh, uh, Ariola. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You know, Uh, poor Mike. Poor Mike. Yeah, that was not a good day. I was. Am I allowed to talk about that? Why not? Uh, As long. Yeah. Is it we were a long time ago? Was a long time ago. Yeah, it is an anatomy. And that's her name? No. No. Areola or something like that. It's Aria. Aria? I think. We called her Areola. Well, you know. She was very rude. Uh, Her parents did it to her. She was very handsy. And very rude. Yeah. Even before she got handsy, she was... Didn't she go up to Cam and just tell him that, like, straight up his girlfriend was ugly or some shit? Maybe. That sounds like something she would do. Cam's such a sweet human being, though. Oh, yeah. Cam's Why would you say that to him? Yeah, I don't know, but... That's a dangerous move, too, because Cam light you up. Yeah, Cam doesn't really hold back most He does kind of remind you of a lion. With the main, you know? <laughs> um, not so much. Cam doesn't give me lying. <laughs> no offense to him. But Isn't he in the herd? What animal yeah, was he? he was a fox. A fox, yeah. He's a sly little. In we should herd. give him the fox. What's the herd? He can have it. 
Is our little friend group. Our friend group. I'm a snail. Owl. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Owl makes sense. Yeah. Uh, like, quiet and wise. Exactly. All seeing. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah, there's a few of us. We never really made it a thing. No. It's just amongst our friends. But what you need to do clearly is when everybody turns thirty, go to Vegas and get those tattooed on your ass, like your own. I, would, dude, I already talked about getting a snail tattoo. See, several times. And an I, owl tattoo is not bad. But that's so. I everybody gets them. That's the thing. I'd have to do ass do tattoos. No, an owl tattoo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I got six. Yeah, what did I miss? <laughs> Who are you looking over there? So you got an ass tattoo? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. What's on your ass? On your butt. Ooh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's a uh it's very well done. <laughs> All right. Damn. That's a that's a CIA that's a CIA like spy espionage uh uh code word for like the really attractive lady that goes into the bar. Are and, you like, just getting that from the movie the, the interview? The honeypot? That's like a well known like that's Honeypot and Honey Dickin? <laughs> you, you don't yeah, honey dicking is a, that. that's a Hollywood thing that they yeah. made up, but a honeypot's a real thing. Yeah, I know. But the Russians like, invented it. That was in the interview. You honey dicking me? <laughs> you honey dicking me? <laughs> was that the one against uh, North Korea? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's all really against North Korea when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the Maserati you got to drive, was that a coupe or a convertible? Or? It was a coupe. It was? Yeah. Do you, you have a, do you have a red interior? Do you have a favorite? It had a red interior? Ooh. Yeah. What color was the outside? White. Oh. Typical. Wow. It's, they're not, sorry Maserati, but that model, pretty flimsy built, like. So not, I would expect nothing. Is it the Ghibli? No. Uh, something. I can't remember the name of it. They got the Gran Turismo, the Quattroporte, and then was, the Ghibli. I think it was the Quattroporte. Cool. That's yeah. cool. It was sweet. Well, yeah, when we were first taking it back to his house, he was driving. He's like, this thing goes. And then he, we're just going like 75 on a 30-mile-an-hour <laughs> road. We're just cooking. <laughs> I was like, oh, sweet. Do you have a preference between, uh, like, convertibles or hard tops? I like the hard tops way better. All right. Yeah. That makes sense. Convertibles. You're losing a lot of paint and, like, a lot of look with the convertible this is true and the body lines yeah yeah that's like a big thing that's one thing i've learned there is like body lines are very very important have you ever ridden in a convertible and felt the wind in your hair yeah <laughs> when i had hair <laughs> <laughs> now i don't really feel it through my hair i just feel it on my head more aerodynamic that way yeah. less drag much, much air much more aerodynamic yeah yeah uh, not, white not a convertible guy no mm -mm. no you know, like the wind coursing through the scalp. You won best hair in high school. I love bringing that point yeah, up so much. Two years later, it was two years gone. later, it's all gone. I got to shave it off with. Well, Mitch. you got to buzz it. Oh, I suppose yeah. I didn't shave it the first time until I was in Colorado, and I was just sitting there looking at my bald self. Did you want to see the mountains from like the mirror on your head? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to not have to wear a hat twenty four seven anymore. So I suppose I just shaved it off. Now I don't care so much. I was, it's like the perfect Halloween costume. I just grow it out a little bit. This can be oh. any old man I want. <laughs> Pick one. I'm my neighbor this year. Exactly. You just go so trick just or treating at your neighbors. Oh, who are you supposed to be? You. <laughs> You're scary as hell. <laughs> yeah, I could just buy a cane and then I'd have a Halloween costume for the rest of my life. <laughs> If I didn't have the beard, I'd be in a different spot in my life. A beard and no beard, no hair, I'd look like a giant baby. And I'm just very thankful for this. <laughs> I don't remember, I only remember one moment of you not having a beard. And that was when we were, like, it was way back to, like, early football days. You remember when you're... Whoever called you, you said they said you look like a chipmunk. No, oh, yeah, you got, my dad. You got <laughs> super heated. Yeah, motherfucking big sat Tom. down. I'm not playing. <laughs> I don't look like a chipmunk, but you did. The Your helmet was damn tight. <laughs> and I had chubby cheeks. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I think I was laughing at you. I didn't no, mean to. I'm, I'm sure sorry. everyone was. <laughs> <laughs> big Tom had jokes. Still does. Still does. We should have him on the podcast. Yeah, maybe. You think Big Tom would do it? He could talk about propane, propane accessories. Yeah. Hank Hill. <laughs> Big Tom. Tom Hill. Yeah. I need some scotch. 
Would you care to pour me some? I got the finger glass. I've had the beard on my face for eight years. Varying lengths, of course. Yeah. Yeah. For, for a while, it was just a chin strap, too. Are you... Do you ever want to, like... Shave it off? No, like, all the way down? You want to go, like... Oh, long beard? Yeah. No, absolutely not. No? No. Does it get annoying? Yeah. I can't like, really grow facial hair. Even so. right now, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been touching my mustache, and that's because it's, like, just getting to the point where it's touching my lip, and it's very, very Super irritating. irritating. This glass is hard to drink out of. What the Find hell? Find a corner. And, like, when you first grow the mustache, the mustache is the itchiest thing ever. I hate it. And then the, like, the hair gets to, like, a certain length where if you touch it wrong, it, like... Hurts? Twi- yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it, like, yeah. stabs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's crazy. Worst. Women will never understand that. The pain that we go through. A <laughs> <laughs> couple eye rolls over there. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to be going through some pain. <laughs> Even when, it, like, the chin gets too long, it starts to get itchy, too, and then it just starts fr- frizzing out everywhere, and it doesn't look conformed. I, I don't like that. Yeah. But I do get lazy, and then I'll look like a homeless person with the long beard and the bald head. <laughs> How many Red Bulls have you gotten through today? Today? This is number three. Do they affect you anymore? Like, do you get... Have you ever gotten a kidney stone? No. Mm. I drink a lot of water. That's good. Um, maybe they affect me. I don't know. Would you? Do you think they you need to sponsor me? Oh, that's. <laughs> do you think you <laughs> go through you withdrawals? Do? That's Red Bull worthy. <laughs> I'm a gamer. They sponsor gamers. All though. right, there you go. I'm not. I don't really game that much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, bro. I mean, from the they list. They sponsor of the... the car shop. Do they? Actually, no. Oh, that'd be sweet though. That'd be cool. Damn. I wonder if they would sponsor the turbo mower. Bet. You think if, we if you could got like a big happen? enough following, like, I bet I could do that. When that pops off, you're gonna be my film, my cameraman. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. You look like a cameraman. Do you I? look like a yeah? You look really more does. like a cameraman than most people that I know. <laughs> Is that a compliment? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that means. Have you ever seen a cameraman that wasn't like an impressive human being? No. See, they're genuinely good people. I feel like. Yes, I'll take that. Yeah. Very owl like, very quiet, quiet. <laughs> reserved, wise, observant, uh, observant. Whoa, Blech. dude, You're knocking shit over in my way. It's Careful not in your way. Sword. I still need you to can't get handle my that seat. You still want to? I still, no, they're sitting at my mom's house still. Um, do you should get those. We should do some cool stuff with swords. <laughs> do a sword fight? Yeah, well, I don't know. I remember when I first got the 300 sword, we went bought some a bunch watermelons. of fruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> went out to that empty cul-de-sac and made yeah. development. <laughs> playing Fruit Ninja. That was fun. Dang, what could we cut up now? COVID? <laughs> Slice some COVID? I don't know. I feel like all the interesting things that have been, a, like, sliceable yeah. have already been... 277 baby that's Slice. a perfect investment. I, I think I paid 250 for mine. It was like that like more black. Yeah. Like that one. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking heavy. Yeah, that thing is a tank. And then I have a rapier too. Actually, it's, I'm pretty sure it's the exact one up on the right. Don't right. type in the wrong word when you I search know, rapier. Right. Rape. <laughs> the one up on the right. This one? That's uh, left. This one? Yeah. Except like the handle's all black and stuff, yeah, yeah. but that's basically it's all black. It. Black on black on black. It's got like Obviously, it's like artificial, like strike marks. Right. Shit. Yeah. It's weird because like they used looks like a cast what iron. Seems grill. like cast oh, iron. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Yeah, that one's flimsy. Yeah, that's super. Someone broke the fucking sheath. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's man cave probably. Yeah. Crazy days. The good yeah, stuff. I think it, it just like a mattress got laid on it or something. Oh. Thinking back now, that was like a cesspool. The man cave. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, it was not clean. The first iteration of it, when it, it was just like us chilling. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. That was like my living space for that whole summer. Mm-hmm. That was the place in Princeton, right? Yeah. I think I went there once. Didn't you have like uh, OSB skateboard ramps set up? Oh, you must have been there after I made that video. Uh, we built a skate park yeah, for like, like under 100 bucks. Yeah. We went, just went and got some plywood and then yeah. used a bunch of 2 by 4s Made a bunch of ramps, up. tried to skateboard, but I'm not good. So. Do you skate? Mm, not anymore. I'm what more, you used to? A little bit. A little I'm more BMX now. Yeah. You got that kick-ass bike now. Mm-hmm. It's actually in Stacia's kitchen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a perfect uh, 
perfect spot for it. Art piece, yeah. Yeah, when we were moving, it was in the back of my car, and I was like, well, can I just leave this in here so I can load up all my shit in my car? So mm-hmm. I just haven't grabbed it since then, but I never did anything crazy on it yet, but I didn't have it for too long. Right, right. We should take advantage of that. We should go do some cool shit. Soon? Yeah, well, it's not, maybe. It's not terrible yeah, out. It's not terrible out. We could try. You can't snowboard. I mean, you can, no. but I'm not paying $40 to go down two runs. Yeah. Oh, uh, is that Trollhagen that only well, has? Trollhagen and Wild Mountain both only have a few runs open. <sighs> Wild Mountain is uh, remodeling their entire like ski lodge. Oh, really? The whole chalet, all of it, yeah. I don't think you went there like a few times last year. I honestly, the ski lodges, I don't give a shit about because like I'm not up in yeah, the bar or there, anything. Right. Yeah, I'm not there to drink and whatever. Yeah. So I didn't mind it. It was pretty quick to get your pass and get out there. I'm pretty sure Lutzen is like half open. Really? Yeah, they're way farther north, so they've just been blowing st- everywhere that they can blow snow. You know, yeah. like the the the, the backcountry type runs that they have they don't have any snowblowers out there but yeah i'm upset i only got to ride the war pig like once and that would be the place to take it yeah, yeah. You, well yeah you only we went to afton that yeah, one time I last broke year. my ass and <laughs> still feeling pain from it like literally right now if i sit like this i could still feel it like it hurts maybe go to a chiropractor or mm, something i can't because my vertebrae are fused oh they'll yeah, break me in right. half and then i'll just be a noodle Send me down on a snowboard. Just fold me up real nice and put me on there. And... <laughs> put you in a, a bobsled. That's more safe. Have you seen, oh, dude, uh, the Olympic Games. So the um, they're the skiers, but they're like the paraplegic ones. Yeah. So they're on like the, have you seen? Dude, yeah, that's like so one. insane. Yeah. Like, I don't, have you seen the hockey players, that, the paraplegic ones that are like that? And is it like, like one skate and yeah, then they have yeah, like they the... Have like two sticks with like spikes on them i think Dang. and they can like push around like that it's pretty cool that's crazy yeah no i, I feel bad kind of but like every time that would happen like every time the winter olympics would come up and they would be like skiing and stuff i couldn't help myself i would just like die laughing because it looks <laughs> freaking hilarious i watched this clip the, the other day what are you doing? Oh, no, no. going to buffer. <laughs> um, of course. This dude was doing the slaloms, and he, like, came over this hill, and the slalom went right between his legs, and you can just hear him screaming in pain. Oh. Yeah. Aren't they supposed to bend? The, they like, do. They the like, flags? They, but I still. It still hurts, yeah. That looks fun as shit. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, can I get one of those and just do that? Have you seen the bikes with the skis on them? Yeah, that looks fun, too. Because you can, be you can hard, buy though. the ski kits for bikes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, like, some snow skates where it's, like, literally the size of, like, an ice skate, and it just has, like, the blade on the bottom. It's, like, roller blades, basically, is what they look like, but with, like, the blade on the bottom. It looks sweet. It looks a lot just like ice skating. There's an ad for it. Some hockey player was using it, and he's like, yeah, these are, like... Would you do that? Would you go, uh, like, biking, though? Biking? I don't know, because I don't, like, steering that and slowing down, like... Yeah, I suppose. There's no real way to do that. But you can, like, drift, I think, and, like... Set the back end in, you know yeah. what I mean? The same way you can do on a lawn, or a snowboard. Would that be easier on a mountain bike, though, than, like, a BMX frame? I would rather do a BMX frame because I know I could toss it away from me faster if something, yeah, like, was going to happen. I would feel, like, more comfortable, though. Like, you've seen me snowboard and you've seen me bike. They're yeah. two very different things. Yeah, like, your comfortability level is much different. Like, going straight forward is a lot easier for my brain to, like, handle. But, like, when I'm on a snowboard and I try and do a 360, I break my ass. Like, yeah. See, for me, like, snowboarding has been the easiest thing to, like, really get a, a good grip on. Yeah. They make custom ones specific for that? Yeah, see, you, you carve a little bit. Oh, okay. I wonder if they have a brake system. It's got to be something that digs down. Into right, the, right, like you pull the lever yeah. and it digs down into the back ski or something. It doesn't it's look still, like it. Don't you think that would just send you head over heels? Dude. Oh. Yup. That's yeah, fire. Yeah, you can see the brake right there. What? It's hanging off the back of the... Oh, does it, like, drop down behind it? Yeah. Like, well, think like like about, like, like, a regular thing? ski. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, when it pops off your, uh... That looks killer. Big fan of that. What does it take to do that? Oh, you can know. mani on it? That's sick. Oh. That's gonna look cool. That'd be fun. Also, terrifying. I'd feel way more comfortable on that, though, honestly. I th- yeah, I think being able to throw it away makes it a lot, like, mm-hmm. less scary. Like, you're not attached. Because, like, even a snowboard... You're locked. Like, in. when you, like... 
dig in and you catch an edge and the board comes back behind you and it can smack you in the back of the head Dude, like if you I, scorpion hard enough i don't like, know how but i had like a big red mark from smacking myself <laughs> in the face of my board right there once i was like how did that happen I'll say catching your back edge on your snowboard is absolutely the worst thing ever. Yeah. Especially going down a hill because you're launching at least 10 feet straight right. to your tailbone. I wish when I started somebody would have told me just go fast. Yeah. Well, yeah, me and you had talked about that because the first couple times, you, well, at least that I went You're taking, like, you. the shallow hill and it's just... You don't have enough speed you're to, like, maintain an edge. And that's what... And then it'll build your confidence, like, quick, too. Like, you know, yeah. just, like, being... You're like, oh, I just went really quick, and then I didn't fall. Yeah, it was easy. That's it was what I was easier. telling Stacia, because she was willing to learn. Like, I don't want to just take her up a big hill and be like, all right, go fast. It's easy. Right. But, like, the faster you go, the easier it will be. Right. But then there becomes a point where you're going fast too fast, and, it and you can't again. stop. Yeah. Like, being able to carve is a whole other thing. Like, yeah. It's but definitely like, getting an edge that. and working on your edges, speed is necessary. Mm-hmm. I just like the tree runs. Like that's my favorite. Yeah. Like you don't have to. But you don't have to like be in the air. You're just like flying through trees. Yeah, I like like super mellow jumps. Like if it's just like a little hump coming off like a down bank, like that's like perfect for me. Yeah. Because at Wild Mountain there was one that kind of had like a little pop to it, and it felt like I was going like 25 feet, just like at a foot above the ground. If yeah. you get going quick enough, you just sort of like that, that yeah. float where yeah. you're just like just oh, over. Oh, this is too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when we were at Wild Mountain, we were like kind of working on getting ready to hit some jumps, and then Wyatt's just like, fuck it. And he went and immediately bored out in front of him, arms like this, straight on his ass, fractured a rib. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he kneed himself in the face. You were with when, was that at Afton? When I uh, when I separated my rib. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you, you were there. Because both you guys fell on that jump, and I was like, oh, they well, didn't was fall like, that hard, but you both were like in pain. I yeah. was like, well, didn't you? You did that over like past the jump that we were hitting, like consistently. Yeah. Over well, down it was into one that. of those rollers that uh, Rob was talking about, where yeah. you just you get enough speed to mm -hmm. hit this, and if you pop yourself, you'll just sort of float this. It was yeah. that weird middle section where yeah. it, like where gets, you went like, down into like the yeah, that alley. gully, yeah. yeah, and those kids were like hanging out there, just on the other side of the hill for some reason. You can't see over that. I've taken That's a few a, people out. I love that spot, though. That's such a cool little... Like, yeah, I love room. that. It's like the little mini park where mm -hmm. it's like mellow. You can hit a box if you want. Yeah. And it's relatively quick, like uh, top to bottom to chairlift to back up to top yeah. again. Yeah. And it's a nice, like, flow. That's a yeah. good spot. Yeah, I like there. I liked Wild Mountain, too, though, because, like, their park, it was, like, really big. And they had, like, the big jumps and shit. Yeah. But, like, in between the jumps, they just had, like, knuckles. So I was just hitting knuckles the whole time and then just hitting the tow rope back up and it was super their tow rope's long as shit though. Your arms start to burn. I haven't mastered the tow rope yet. I'm it's still hard. I'm scared of that, dude. It's hard. I, do, I don't want to be the guy that's like hanging on, just being dragged up. Well, the... yeah, I did that like I went to Highland Hills by myself. And it was like the only way that's to get That's all up. tow rope, isn't it? No, there's a couple lifts. Oh, there are. Yeah. Um but like what I wanted to hit was on tow rope and like the first time I like fumbled it and like barely got off it at the top and i'm like yeah i'll just take the lift and walk over like, yeah i'm not trying to hold all these people up because they're all like on it off of it yeah go hit a seven literally carve fucking, right down yeah. catch the tow rope like as they're moving yeah back i mean i can do that for the most part but it's just getting off of it at a decent speed where i'm not in other people's way like i don't get it like i saw other people like they would like lean and slingshot themselves and it's yeah like, I don't think I could do that. Yeah, and if you hold on too long, then you're the asshole that trips the wire yeah, and shuts it down for everybody. Don't want to be that guy or either. If I like, I almost fell fear. at the top, and it was like, well, now I'm in everybody's fucking way. Right. Were you with me when I got, oh, I think it was Hib or Mitch Hag. I got eaten by the lift at the bottom. Oh, no. <laughs> the, like, so the seat handle went between my legs. Like, I didn't get to sit on the thing. Oh, yeah. And it, like, grabbed me and, like, picked me up and I flipped backwards and then, like, just huge line of people. And I was like, well, I, I didn't get hurt. Like, it didn't hurt me at all. But everybody was like, that had to hurt. And then I was fine. And, but I was like, definitely don't do that. So I look like a freaking idiot, dude. Well, me and Huey were at Troll once. And, you know, like the two-seater lift yeah. that goes fast. Yep, yep. I was, like, getting on that. And I look back, and the seat is flipped up. <laughs> and the guy didn't stop it. And I'm just sitting on the bar. And then I'm, like, looking back. And he stops it. I'm 30 feet off the ground. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do now? Now everybody's looking at me. Flip the seat down. Yeah, I'm so I had to, bro. Like, I had to, like, 
turn around and like grip it and then like jump and like slam the seat down and sit on the seat. Oh my god! It was he was just dying. Tiny. He's just, just pointing and laughing at me. I was like, "Fuck, dude! <laughs> Are you serious?" <laughs> That's the funniest chairlift story I've ever heard. That might it be. It sucked, yeah. dude. It was so like. What am I doing? Like, why did you like, stop it? It's extra embarrassing for some reason when you like mess up on a ski lift. Because it's, it's like you hold up public, everybody yeah. else. It's like it's you don't the want public to be the display. One. Oh, it'd be everybody like, it's the same can thing see as you. like messing up on an escalator. <laughs> like a busy How do you do that? That's what most people it. think. How do you do that? <laughs> Get your shoe caught in the little thing or well, something. When I go with Wyatt, I never let him be like near me when we get off the chairlift. Because if he's ever behind me, he either pushes me or if he's like right in front of me, he'll just ride right into me every single time. <laughs> every time. I'm like, dude, get out of the way. It's like, I can't. And that's like the most difficult part of snowboarding is getting off the Getting chairlift. off the ski lift, yeah. Yeah, especially with like one foot hanging. Like you, yeah. No matter how comfortable you get on a snowboard, you unstrap that back foot. I don't give a fuck who you are. You unstrap that back foot, and like the level of difficulty has just raised tenfold. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got that stomp pad, which helps. Doesn't yeah. matter. Keep my foot in the same spot. They need to make better stomp pads, I think. Mine's pretty good. It's got like the really big spikes on it. It's That's, hard. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get just like a flat rubber one. They See need to make like, like a, a banana. You're like, how is that helping you? Well, then I watch like a lot of snowboarding stuff. You see pros doing like one foot plants and like yes. shit like this. Yes. Like, how do you? How do you even? Or do they that? they get up on a box, they unstrap themselves real quick, and then they do like a, a shove it off the yeah. box. Like what the f- what the fuck are you doing? Well, Craig McMorris, I think it might have been in his X Games Real Street, but he like came up to a jump and then did one foot out, foot plant, front flip down, like. Like a twenty foot wall. That's got to be. It's like, so sick. It's hard to like think of because while you're unstrapped on that back foot, the board is just kind of going everywhere. Yes. So w- to get the board like to manipulate it while doing a flip, Your so it's ankle not strength has right. To be insane. To be able to push the board back up, like that's insane. And then it could go any which way, you know. Yeah. I want to try those Burton step on bindings. The step have ins. Seen, yeah. Have you seen yeah. those? Yeah, but then the, like the ice gets inside there and it gets impossible to get your foot back in. Uh, potentially. Uh, but I've seen a lot of good reviews. Also, if you just stomp it, you're gonna crush that ice. Right. Yeah. Burton makes good. They don't make. Yeah, they're. I mean, it would, they They would have had like, to test it enough to the point they're not gonna just sell I mean, something that doesn't fucking they work. They put plenty of clips up of it, of it, like new model of the step ons, like in the park, and it's like people shredding part. Right. I was just thinking about something, and I forgot what the fuck it was. It was important, and it was good to talk about. This is a terrible thing. <laughs> Scotch. I got a matching boots and jacket last year for my snowboard. You did. It looks really good. That's what I was at Highland by myself, and this dude came up. He's like, that's a sick fit with those boots and that jacket. I was like, thanks. He's like, yeah, my girlfriend wants me to go home. Been with her for like six years. I want to stay here and shred with the boys. I was like, okay. That's a weird thing to say. To <laughs> yeah, he was like, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It's like, why are it you? doesn't involve me. <laughs> yeah, are you <laughs> asking? <laughs> yeah. I was like, ah, oh, sick, man. He's like, all right, see you out there. And then he just took off. I was like, all right, man. Strange individual. It's like, could I have made a friend? I don't know. Did I want to? Not really. <laughs> not really? Not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was my first time to Highland, too, so I was, like, super anxious and just, like... You should have told him, I'm not a person that gets overly excited. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, sick, dude. You got a girlfriend? Tight. Tight. Dude, good for you. Wow. Get out of my face. <laughs> no, it gave me a nice little boost of confidence that I looked good out there, but then I was like, I don't snowboard that good. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> You'll see me out there. Yes. You probably have to wait for me. Upside down with a broken leg. Yeah. I don't know. There's a clip from Highland 2 from last year where they had like a field goal post up. And this little kid was like skiing, trying to jump through it. And it's like one of his skis clipped it, and it just Ooh. yard sales, his helmet, <laughs> everything just dink, and it just exploded. Uh, there's something about people getting hurt that I watch is good to see. You know that pipe along the side of Trollhagen, yeah, along that main run. I, I, yeah. Um, I wrecked on that pretty hard. Yeah, there's this. I was there last year snowboarding, and there's this. Like, a group just, like, jumping over the pipe down onto, like, the little bank there. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of people doing it. Like, two kids go. They're waiting for their friend at the bottom. Their friend doesn't even make an effort to jump over the pipe. Just board under it. Just tumbled. 
I was, <sighs> dude. And it was right as the lift stopped too. Like the lift was stopped, and I'm just like, oh, let's watch this. And I was crying. It makes me like gag nope. knowing how bad your ankle would just like. Oh, he, he got right uh, up. He wasn't like screaming in pain or anything. So I was like crying, laughing, but I could hear this. <laughs> everywhere else was dead silent. And Everybody I was like, who's was... humiliated gets right back up. Yeah, that's true. That's like true. if it's super embarrassing, you're like, fuck, fuck it up as yeah. soon as possible. I've laid there in the snow for probably 10 15 seconds a couple times just like hoping that nobody saw but the problem is when you open your eyes you notice you're under the ski lift and everybody's <laughs> like yeah. like what's wrong is he taking it yeah nap? what's wrong with that guy <laughs> yeah there was like no one around when Wyatt ate shit and then eventually like 10 minutes later he's just like laying there on the ground trying to gather himself I'm just holding one of his bluetooth earbuds that flew out when he, he beefed and the snowmobile this. guy came up he's like you good it's like, I don't know. <laughs> and then got a ride over to the medical tent. Mm -hmm. Then he got a free pass. I'm a, oh, wow. I want to, when you go, let me know. Because I want to come with, not to like snowboard, snowboard. But I want to test out the drone and see if I can like use that. Cause While it has you're a, snowboarding? It has an active track thing. So I oh, could follow yeah. you down. But I could also just like fly it and make sure it's not fucking hitting anything. But I think that'd be like that'd be sweet. fun footage to get just... To have, just to have. Yeah. yeah. If you went like halfway down the hill and then started the drone up at the top of the hill, yeah, followed him down. I had this idea like a while back. Like I think I posted a video um, on my channel called "Exceedingly Average," where like we go and just do whatever we're doing, but we're not like that good at it. We're oh, just yeah. exceedingly average. Like, yeah. I wanted to do like a video about that because. There was a skateboarding video way back in the day where, like, I don't know who it was, but they were talking about it on, like, the Bones Brigade, like, uh, documentary. Yeah. And it was the reason why one of, like, the best skaters in the world, I don't remember who it was, but, like, he was like, I saw that and I realized you don't need, like, crazy ramps or, like, to do crazy tricks to be, like, really good. It was yeah. just this dude skating down a hill. And, like, hitting, like, people's, like, driveway, little, like, bumps and stuff in, like, San Francisco. And yep. he was just, like, doing, like, these weird little technical moves that didn't require a lot of skill. But Yeah. As long as you're having fun with it. And then, like, if it looks cool, like, that's what I was saying with, like, biking. It's, like, I don't want to do anything crazy, but I want to just do, like, little hops and right. 180s, manning over this pad and then hop off of it. Yeah. Something like that. Like, learning just, like, the basics, I think, makes it that much more fun. Yeah. I mean, That's you what, have to, to, like... And, like, with snowboarding good, last but, year, I went a bunch, so I, like, progressed a decent amount to where, like, I'm comfortable doing some grabs, and I was going to start working on spins and shit this year. Mm -hmm. but, like, once you get more comfortable and you, like, figure out, like, okay, this is how I have to hit the jumps, mm -hmm. and this is how I have to land, then everything becomes just, like, a lot easier. You don't have to focus on every single little detail. That's something I learned, though, last year, when we... That one day we went, it, it's a lot more comfortable to actually, like, do a grab than it is just to jump. Like, to, well, yeah. like, it, it, for whatever reason, it makes you feel like you're in more control because you're, well, like, well, hanging your body on. Is stink it, yeah, I think it stabilizes you. Yeah, because, like, like, that's one thing I noticed when I was, like, first started really doing jumps last year is, like, if you don't pull your knees up, you're, like, wobbly and your arms right. well, start you're, squirreling. Like, top heavy. And yeah, like, you can lean forward. Flip over. But as soon as you, like, even pulling your knees up just a little bit just makes you, like, sit there. Mm -hmm. And that's, that was, like, the biggest learning curve was, like, remembering to, like, do that hop every right time. and pull your knees up. Yeah. Because we were hitting that, like, big roller under that lift at Trollhagen. Yeah. And, like, obviously we weren't getting huge air, but it was, like enough where you get a good amount down the thing yeah so it's like that's where i learned like a lot of it i ne didn't necessarily want to start on that giant fucking thing but is what it is is what it is <laughs> got me going like kind of shakes off the fear for like the smaller stuff that seems mm -hmm. intense that really isn't and that's another thing when you're coming up to the jumps they look so much bigger than they are yeah when you're yeah. standing next to them yeah looking at this like oh, i can hit this shit and then you're rolling in at yeah. 25 miles an hour going eh. yeah like even like my ankles going up the ski lift you're like oh that's not that big and then you're rolling up to it and you're like i can't see the backside of it where do i land <laughs> <laughs> so other than snowboarding what do you do rob play some video games oh boy what do you play recently it's been zombies <laughs> like Call of Duty Zombies? Yeah, a lot of Call of Duty it. Zombies. Do they have a new one out? I can get yeah. down with that. Is that what you're playing? Or yeah. Is it like old? Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's hard. But that's what makes it fun. There's no, like, end to that game, right? Like, it, the levels just get well, there's more like, and more and more intense. Yeah, but in this one, there's, like, a extraction option where you can, like, call in a helicopter. 
Oh, and cool. then it like takes you out of the game, and then you get like bonus match XP and stuff. Huh. Uh, if you extract, if you don't like, if the, there's like a timer with it. So if you don't kill a certain amount of zombies, like the first time I did and I didn't kill enough zombies, and then it goes to a cutscene where the helicopter starts flying away, and you just get blasted with the fucking rocket and you die. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't think I made it. Sweet. And then it's just rocket, dead, defeat. Like, oh. Is there a way to jump out? Nope. No. <laughs> as soon as you go to the cutscene, you're fucked. <laughs> I like take some pictures <clears throat> when I get the motivation and energy to. Mm -hmm. Like photography? Yeah. yeah. You just gotta, need to. I need to have the right subject matter. What do you got for mm -hmm. a camera? Uh, a Nikon, Coolpix, something. Okay. I don't know. It actually. I don't know anything I, about photography? I got it on eBay, and it's actually like the quality of it is like really good. I was it's surprised. Surprising for what it is, like the. But and I can zoom in like. When I first got it, I was fu <laughs> fucking around with it. Me and Wyatt went to a lake, and he was fishing. I was I could look at people's shirts across the lake. Yeah, it's nuts. I remember really? trying to get those swans that one time. Yeah. We were fucking around at whatever lake that was. That was yeah, crazy. What is that? Tennyson? Tennyson, yeah. yeah. So still imagery, not like video? No video? I would be interested in video, but I haven't, again, I haven't had anything to like shoot video-wise right. that I've been interested in. Start hanging okay. out with me. And, like, I don't... Start doing yeah, videos. I could, but, like, I don't have, like, any editing stuff. I need a new laptop. Well, I need a new screen for my laptop. Isn't that stuff that you got? Wasn't black. that free software? Yeah. There's a, the one I use is free. Oh, okay. You should definitely, like, definitely check that out. Uh, your computer has to be a little more, like... I don't know what computer you have. I but just have a laptop. Okay. A yeah, I probably won't run it. The screen it's is completely more. black, so I have to run through a monitor no matter what. Oh, damn. In Colorado one day... I know for a fact one of the fat ass cats jumped on it <laughs> because like where the initial like impact was just like a spot like a small little spot in the corner yeah and it's like I didn't drop it I didn't like drop anything on it nothing like that like it had to be the cat jumping off the fireplace onto my laptop or something and then mm -hmm. I could like still see most of my screen and work around it but then eventually it just spread to the whole thing and Jeez. Even now, when I turn it on, there's like a fucking alarm that goes off sometimes. <laughs> like, it's not like a a wake up like morning alarm. It's like the nukes are coming alarm. Like it's me, me. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's me and Stacia were about to fall asleep once, and it just started going off, and I was like, "What the fuck is happening?" <laughs> I get to the shelter. We're, get get to we're the gonna shelter. die. Oh no. Um, yeah. If you like get the opportunity to get. Like a computer that can run some serious shit, you should definitely start trying to edit. Well, I was trying to convince Mike to give me his old gaming laptop. And right. It's like, well, it needs new fans, and I want to replace the fans, and it needs this, and I want to do that. And it's like, if you don't want to give it to me, just tell me no. Yeah. And like, that's, I had to, like, yell at him to tell me no, because he kept, like, beating around the bush, and I was like, dude, <laughs> just say no, and I'll stop asking. Professional beater around the bush. Yeah. It's like, I, I'm not mad if you tell me, like, no, like, you can't have this. We're still going to use it for stuff. Right. But the fact that he would, like, offered it up initially. Like, oh, you could probably use that one, blah, blah. So I was like, all right, well, I will then. Dang it, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> all right, well, you had an opportunity to sit down at the sim racing rig. I'm not happy. And put in some <laughs> hot laps. You did. Well... <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, we had some technical difficulties. You did have a faster lap. By a second. By a second. And we can put that time on here, but the one... I don't remember the exact time. The that's time. the thing. It, it was, was 109, 109 something. something. Yeah. And I had a 107 it was, in it the was runs. A, you had a 109.2. Oh, was that what it was? It was a 109.2, yeah. I say I had like a 107 in my warm-up laps, but then I just couldn't get back to that. I mean, I already wrote the sticker, but you I, can already cross, wrote the sticker. I can cross it out. You just want to cross, cross it out? It out and he did it. You, you had a 109 too, but the video we're going to show, it's still Rob. It's still a good lap. It's just not his fastest. We Jay had some, Lindsay was boxing. Jay Lindsay. <laughs> he was on my shit. <laughs> he was on your shit. He would get plenty of penalties for that. I would get... I don't think anybody's Whatever. actually called him by his real name or her. I guess we don't know. It could be Joanne Lindsay. It could be Jeremy Lindsay. It could be. It could be Gen Z Lindsay. <laughs> Gen Z Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. I got a little too ambitious a couple times. You picked it up pretty quick though, like. Well, I know like racing lines. I know how like straight line braking, all like, yeah, all yeah. like the stuff you need to know. It's just different. It's so different with the wheel. 
Yeah. Like, that was the biggest learning curve. Also, my wheel in my car is like a bus wheel. It's fucking huge. Well, that one's super small. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, right. like, going it's, from, it's like, a normal tight. car to that one, it felt, like, really different. Right, right. And I don't know if you could see my hands in the video, but I was steering like this, like, the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can't, like, just hold the wheel, like... It's a I, weird thing to get used yeah. to, like, holding it like that. Because you're not... Like, the only time you would hold it like that in your actual car is, like, when you're, like, oh, shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're doing something. When you're really cooking. Yeah. Well, even when I'm, like... I never really you cook. You still hold it like this. Yeah, so I literally like, still just I'm have doing like, 100, I don't care. <laughs> if I'm weaving it out, it's one hand, like, 90% of the time. I mean, I was hitting the vape on most of these straights right here. <laughs> <laughs> had to make it as realistic as possible. That might be the thumbnail for your racing clip video. It's just <laughs> you hitting a vape. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got time to kill on those straights, so. A decent first lap there, though. 1.56. Yeah, yeah. 1.15.6. Yeah. And the the braking is hard to get used to, too. Right. It is. Like, and these corners are, like, deceptive on yeah. this track. It's just, like, when you... The braking response from, like... That to like a real car is like mm-hmm. just obviously it's so much different. Well, yeah, because so that's like where the main curve you can't is. feel anything. That's the like, main it's thing. Just, it's, like, it's hard to like. You can tell on the screen that you're kind of slowing down, but right. you really don't know. Oop. See, look at he's a little just, bit of paint rub. There. Yeah. He came in and just smacked the shit. For whatever reason, he's a lot more aggressive. aggressive. Yeah. With you, I don't. I, he hasn't been that aggressive, or her hasn't been that aggressive. <laughs> Got some beef. Yeah, something's wrong. He's getting mad. He's like, I've been beat every single time. I don't know. <laughs> he was trying to pick me think a few this times. Who's on my shit? I thought I was gonna have a better time coming up to this. Yeah, car. really, because like 55 into those barrels on the, I think on the it, right there is usually this a good right time. here. So that move, that, too much time. That yep. break in is hard to get. You have to like yeah. lighter on the. You do break enough. And you're not breaking too much. You just have to, like, do it, like, in the corner almost, like, yeah. when you're on that one. Because it's just a weird corner. But uh, that was the 110.4. Yeah. Overall, though, a good... Uh, I mean, well, that's... Was that the next one, the one where you, like, break sooner going into the... Or yeah. break less you, going into this yeah. corner. <laughs> <laughs> told you to break less. And Send me you, into the wall. You met Barry R. The barrier. <laughs> So uh, yeah, go ahead. I think and, uh, with 109.2, 109 that puts you, get you right in front of right in front of Cam. Yourself. There, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send a picture of that to Cam. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be like, wait, 1010.4, what happened? <laughs> yeah, got a little, little mistake there, right? <clears throat> Ain't no thing. But you are in third place. Like that's good. You are. You made podium. Like yeah, that's those a, are good. That's a podium so much finish. Better. That's a, that's what bugs me, especially when it comes to video games, because right. I know I can be good at any video game. Right. Like, I'm a nerd. I know how video games work, and if I sat there all night, I could be. Oh, you'd be top at the yeah, top. Yeah. yeah. I mean, once you get it, though, like you get it. You just have to like the physics are weird. Like Mason brought up a good point. Like even I don't even notice when I'm doing it, but like, so I'm a second faster than Mason on that Ford and. He said, like, I break weird into the corner and let the car, like, rotate almost and slide into it. And oh, then, like, yeah. But that's just because like I play it so much. Yeah, you just, like, you just have to, like, Cause understand are, how a car works, like, just to fucking, like, the turn physics it are in pretty there. realistic in that one, aren't they? Yeah. In Grand you, just, you just don't feel that. You just don't yeah, feel that's, it. The, that's, like, the hardest yeah. part. So, like, hey, I don't know where that, like, I just. I was playing Forza. Naturally picking and, up. like, obviously it's different on a controller. But, like, again, once you, like, understand how the cars and stuff move in that game, it becomes so much easier. Right. I think one of my problems is, like, I was playing that for a while, and eventually I just got sick of getting beat on, like, the last corner. So I would just smash people Mm -hmm. and use them as bumpers, and I was trying not to do that. That's a classic move. Yeah, well, you can't I mean, go wrong with that move. Yeah, when you don't get penalized for you it. Don't why get not do it. This game will penalize you. Like, if you're actually like racing online with people, like, yeah. you can't touch anybody or else you're getting yeah. sent if to you the If you go back. off track, you get penalties and stuff too? Uh, Not if you go off the track. I haven't noticed that so much, but I don't really go off the track, so it might, but I don't think so. Um, But, like, uh, if you touch people, it hates that. It. Lately, it's been really weird. Can, Their can penalty like, system has been super touchy, so like you'll get random penalties for no reason. Does it once in a while. matter who's hitting who, or do both people get? So this is a weird the part. Um, like, I watch some people on YouTube that do that. That's what they like. That's their videos. That's, that's all their, their content. Thing, yeah. um, and they'll 
be the one to hit somebody in mm-hmm. the corner, like accidentally, and they're not trying. Yeah. But then that person that gets hit gets the penalty. Is it because the rate? Does it? Like, this, the, the, does, for whatever the reason, the penalty like algorithm in the game just doesn't know exactly how to pick it up correctly. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Is it like via racing line? So like, if you just jump into someone's line, will that you get a penalty for that? No, you, you have to make contact. Well, that's what I mean. Like, if you're like, oh, like they have their line, the right and they're line. trying to, yeah. And I you don't like. I don't know. It's very weird. Like you can, it goes both ways. You can watch all of the content you want on it and you can never like it's 50 50 split on how it makes sense program though like i've seen it too though where somebody will intentionally make contact just a little bit of contact and then they'll take their car two wheels off off the the track and then that person and then that person gets the penalty the other person that stays on the track it it didn't force them off it just thinks you got forced off the track yeah yeah yeah. okay so that sucks there's some people that do that and they'll like like, use it yeah yeah yeah. momos (laughs) i mean like literally any game if there's a little bit of an exploit that you can use anybody Mm -hmm. online is going to find it and use it right like that's how it is with literally everything. Mm-hmm. Like, that's been the problem with like a lot of the new Call of Duties that come out. Is like, it's one gun is the best gun, and that's it. So mm-hmm. it's like it's not fun, right? Because everybody's using doing the same, same thing. thing. Something came up on YouTube for me the other day where it was this thing you plug in between the controller and the console, and it's like a aim bot. Like it's this little machine, yeah, that you plug in and you can like program any game you want on the machine it like has a whole list of games yeah. you can like download them off of like steam or something like that and you can and it just has hacks for it it has hacks yeah damn that's a way around like software hacks then right because well, then they can't pick it up it's kind of messed up because playing call of duty warzone no wonder i'm so pissed off and i can't shoot well, anybody the like hackers have been insane and um i can't remember who was was it activision running warzone i think so mm-hmm. they didn't have like a, a computer system to pick up cheats Oh, really? Like, it was all by report and review cases. That's stupid. That's why the cheaters are so You're going to get, that yeah, game. that thing exactly right there. And they were just picking their game. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And or you can and so pick it, your gun. Yep, you pick your gun, you can set your loadouts, and then you can, each loadout can have different mods. Jesus. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But I feel like that would be a way around the... It's not even expensive either. Like, you think if you're going to, like, do that, it's, like, 70 bucks, and you can be immediately better. Like, it takes the fun away. Why would you even yeah, want to yeah, play video right. games anymore? That's what like, I thought, too. Like, you watch these hackers, and they're not even aiming. It's like, what, they're just what's shooting. the point of doing yeah, that? Yeah, why are yeah. you doing that? It's like, if you're that bad, just find a different game. Go play. Do you see this guy's YouTube channel name? No, what is Scroll it? back down. Glasscock. <laughs> Johnny Glasscock. Quality. <laughs> yeah, that's why literally people just hack away and like the war zone, they don't care because Activision just doesn't have a software to pick it up. It's that's just crazy. a case by case basis. So if it does have the software to pick it up, like what do they do? Just they get insta banned oh. or like console banned. If you're doing it on a console, you get console banned and IP banned, like yeah. So like, so long as you're running that cheat. Yeah. You well, can't even play. afterwards. Oh shit. Yeah. Really? They, they'll perma ban you. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Fuck those guys. Yeah. There's like a lot of like really competitive games. Like as soon as like they pick up the cheat, you'll get kicked straight out of the game with no questions asked. Good. You'll just be removed. That's the way it should be. <laughs> Do you think you could ever put enough like effort into being like a professional? A pro? If I'd started earlier. Like, if I wanted to actually do that, it would have been, like, something I would have pursued. You had to start like, in high school. At, and then... like, 16. Well, I mean, in middle school, were I was, like, like, nine. Like, yeah, I was in middle school. I was, like, semi-pro in Call of Duty. I was running matches and stuff. Damn. Yeah. We, so, like, we had practice times, like, do you think everything. The older you get, like, the less, like, competitive you can be. Not necessarily, because, like, one of the best COD players is, like, one of the oldest COD players. But that's, again, because he's just had played it for so long right yeah, and one thing with experience. me is like i cannot play the same anymore game. yeah i can't play the same game like non-stop like, yeah it that's gets my big thing. old real quick yeah especially with call of duty too because again it's like you're same using thing. the same gun over and playing over the and same over and over game yeah eventually i feel like eventually you would start doing the same like movements too yeah that's like th- where you're like well, just that's running the same when you're like 
the guy's name is Scump, when you have played as much as him, like, you know all the movements you need to make, and then, like, your map and game knowledge is, like, insane, too. So, like, you understand where people are going to spawn, like, how many, like, where they're coming from, mm -hmm. just all that shit. And I live right down the street, so I can do more of these any time. That's true. This is good. We'll if it's if it's requested. If it's I could requested. come better my time. Come better your time? Yeah. Well, we're going to do Every another, podcast uh, I do... I'm doing a new I'm one. Doing a new one. <laughs> my name's you can do a new be, one. My name's that time be up has there to nine. stay. The, that time has to stay on this top ten. So, after this season, you gotta find like a new video game or something, like a new. Well, I think what we'll do is a new challenge. We'll switch the car to something else, mm. and then like maybe a little more aggressive. Yeah. And then uh, a little more sporty. Yeah, yeah. And then like slowly over time, we'll have our top like people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think we'll probably, like, we could probably do it in, like, two seasons where we take the top, like, three people in each season and yeah. then have, like, and a six. Progress them up. And then put them yeah. in something else crazier. A like, GR3. Harder to drive. That'd yeah. Cool. Rear-wheel drive, manual. So, technically, that could be No traction if control. nobody can beat you after this, which it's looking promising, actually, because the people we have on after this aren't, I mean, I'm not that you, they could, won't do good. I but could like, smash I, that score. Yeah. It bugs me seeing it because I know I can race better than that. Right, and then even at that, you could be at the top the next time, you know, if some of these people aren't capable of coming on. Yeah. So. I'm not too worried about it, but no. it just bugs me when I know I can do better at a video yeah. game and I don't. That's the biggest well, thing now, that makes me mad. It's your like, brother has one, so just sit down and play on well, it. His ass so. is going to come over here and that's true. be dialed in, of course. He's going to run Maybe. four hours we'll of warm-up. He, he was telling me he likes to play the rally games. So it's a yeah, lot different. Than really he's different on, yeah. But the dirt physics, have you played dirt at yeah, all? Yeah, super that. good. It's really yeah. nice, yeah. Like I was doing the tutorial and I was like, I just want to race cars. Yeah. Like this is way too much right now, so I just uninstalled that and got yeah. uh, Forza. There's a game uh called Wreckfest. Is that the one where it's just like demolition derby but it's racing and oh. like I say there's like online. a crash simulator that I, I like watch on TikTok sometimes. Where they just take cars and drive them off this giant cliff. Uh, it's called like <laughs> BeamNG. Mm, I don't. Think that's so. like the most realistic physics simulating car. I thing think that's of. probably what it, the program. It's on is. PC. Yeah, like I, I have it on mine. It's I cool. don't know what, like. That's a fun one TikTok to watch. Channel is. If you ever look up like uh, YouTube videos on that game, that's just fun to watch. Yeah, because you can what, put like. Uh, crash test dummies and stuff in the cars and yeah that's why i followed on tiktok because i don't want to watch like full videos but it's right. like i'll watch this car tumble down a hill for a minute <laughs> like, let's see what this looks like <laughs> just crushing it what are you looking up over here i was trying to find that what'd you call it dmg beam ng beam ng it's a fun game to have just to yeah, mess around a, yeah like just to kill time on yeah could, well you can like mess around with all of the physics so you can change the gravity per oh, like whatever yeah, planet yeah. you want and then you can just shut it off entirely and the car just starts like, to float well i've seen one where they like turned it off and then they put it on like a thousand or whatever yeah and it just, just smashes yeah it. the car gets flattened and then like if you dig around like so since it's online anybody can make whatever they want for the game and like put it in yeah like different mods and yeah, stuff yeah this yeah and uh <laughs> there's these cars that have rockets connected to them and you can like yeah you can go crazy have you seen uh, previews and stuff for cyberpunk yeah are you going to get that game i don't know part of me wants to but i also don't have like time in my own head to like sit down and enjoy the for what it is like i would want if i do it i want to like play the game yeah and that i feel like that's a long it's going to be a big that's like one reason i'm looking forward to it is like i haven't had a game where i could just like run around and just kill time and like jump on it for a few seconds and have fun yeah and like everything i've been playing has been like competitive like well, college there's a story like, online, and like you get yeah. sucked in or even, like, with that game, it looks like a futuristic GTA for the most part. Yeah. With, like, more upgrades and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's like, that looks cool. Because I got sick of GTA. Yeah. It's like, there's only so much you can do if mm -hmm. you don't have GTA online. One thing's really cool, though, is that they do, like, role-playing servers um, for GTA online. So if you, like, different streamers will go in there and there's, like, legit, like, street races and stuff. And they change, like, physics and mods and everything so the cars are more realistic and shit like that. Dang, that's So cool. it's, like, real street races, and they, like, put money on it and 
have checkpoints and there's not like a racing line or like a big checkpoint thing you just have to go off your map yeah yeah it's sweet that's yeah. more my speed though anything you can gamble on yeah like, yeah hell yeah is it actual money or is it no like, it's like no. they're in game oh. yeah but you gamble okay dude. gamble hey. it's just we need to get him a game <laughs> for gambling a gambling game huh yeah you could do one v ones on Call of Duty game battles. I'm pretty sure the first <laughs> throw some like. Uh, I'm pretty sure the first Red Dead Redemption had like a casino in the game where you could go well, play so blackjack. That's why I would spend yeah, so all my time. Yeah, yeah, I was playing yeah. mad poker on Red Dead. Yeah, <laughs> I literally got hopped on one day and played poker for four hours. That's the like Western one, right? Yeah, where you got yeah. the horse. So my my buddy Jake got uh, this like desert landscape with like the utah sort of hills you know what i mean like cactuses and whatnot and then he's got red dead in the horse oh. like, tattooed ass tat oh damn bringing that full circle oh my god yeah <laughs> if you like it that much why not the second one was really fun that's like another game that i just didn't finish the story because i got so sidetracked with everything there's like big game the, uh, that you can go kill so i'll just run around the map the sasquatch it. Uh -uh. Mission? There's like a legit mission with the I like Sasquatch. I found like Easter eggs for it and like I mm -hmm. looked up how to do it, but I just again it was like I'm gonna go kill this giant snake. All right, whoa, there's an alligator over here. I'm gonna kill that now. So oh. it just turned into that like nonstop. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted like you can craft like all the the different like clothes and shit out of like the legendary animal stuff. So I was like, oh, that oh. Looks, I want my guy to look sweet. And then I spent way too much time on that. You got like just, alligator boots. Yeah, like a white bison a snake, now he's excited. snake belt. Now he's yeah. excited. <laughs> Talking about the fashion. <laughs> oh, Hold on, wait a minute. I get to dress this guy? Fashion option. <laughs> I was playing once and I like hopped off my horse like near this train bridge and mm -hmm. like killed a snake or something. My horse just ran down the train tracks and jumped off the bridge into the river. Horses live? can't swim. No. no. Horses, Horses can, can swim. swim. Oh, deer can't swim. Never mind. Deer Sorry. can swim too. No, deer can't know? swim. No, deer can't swim. Are you? That's sure? why they die. Yeah. When they are, have you ever have you ever watched a deer so like panic on a bridge, jump off into a river, and then it just die? It, they give up. Like oh. they're just done. Yeah, they die. They can't swim. Yeah, they can't swim. Yeah. Horses swim though. Gotta get them bitches across the river. Why can't a deer swim? Their legs probably aren't like thick and long enough. Huh. To like really create any propulsion. Give me a deer swimming. I, uh, you won't find Probably that. You're gonna see Jamie, a deer dying. <laughs> oh, you can oh see shit! A, a they're moose gonna swim. panic. They're gonna panic. Yeah, moose do swim, yeah. and they're a deer, Aww, just like a bigger this deer. Is a sad video. But again, yeah, they have like die. they have bigger legs and hooves than a deer. Uh -oh. See ya. Okay, oh. bye. Oh. <laughs> Are you not gonna get out and try and like? Nope. Oh. They're dead, bro. They died. I mean, you could lasso them, and I've seen, like, videos of that. Yeah, like saving a deer in the yeah. frozen lake. Yeah. They swim, then. They float, at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose we could end it on deer dying. Yeah, that's probably a good note. A sad place. A little sad one, yeah. but sad. they die every day. It's they a die every day. True. Circle of life. They provide food. No big deal. I mean, if you eat that after it washes up on the shore, you're probably going to have a bad good, time. Yeah. Have you ever watched Alone? Fish got to eat. Have you ever what? Is the, that the one where they the, go out in the yeah. woods? Yeah. That so, one guy would like was sucking salmon eggs out of a salmon that had been dead for a week, and yeah. then he gets sick, and he was like, why am I sick? Like, dude, you just sucked eggs out of a dead <laughs> salmon. What are you talking about? Did you see the guy who crafted his own bow and arrow and then killed a fully grown moose with it? Uh, I don't think I got that. He was him. he was on Rogan. Yeah, this dude's like oh. a legit wildlife survivor, and like he comes on this show, and then he's worried that like everybody else is gonna beat him. Yeah. And so he's at this point like, I've I've just got to get meat. I've got to get meat. Crafts a fucking bow and arrow kills a fully grown moose with one arrow and then he's got like 3,000 pounds of meat and he's thinking to himself like I'm probably in second place third place maybe he's out here for six weeks or so like they just let him go <laughs> and everybody else has already like failed so he's one and then they just left this guy out in the woods <laughs> like how long is he gonna go that one girl like tripped and cut herself with her own arrow it's like what are you doing oh, she like, doesn't belong out there yeah you just poked yourself with an arrow and then she was like I'm losing so much blood <laughs> 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 it's like a little scratch it's like you're good you're good rub some dirt man. they all like start like one little thing happens they all just panic they're like oh shit well that one person's fucking house started on fire when they were sleeping their little hut i'm gonna have to watch that where is that yeah, netflix? netflix yeah, yeah it's pretty it is it's pretty a good, good series it's fun it gets like 
makes you sleepy because there's just quiet out in the woods and they're just like talking to a camera yeah a lot <laughs> of it is just selfies yeah it's just like i'm gonna oh. go try and do something today well Jeez. that's it <laughs> a little nod. Little, Ralph will say goodbye on his camera. That's tilt it. to the camera, and <laughs> we're on our way. It, we call it good and wrap it up. <laughs> Alrighty, that was it. <laughs>